Hey everybody, Dave Williamson here from the Toy Car Collector. Today to show you some blister packs I will be listing today. Blister packs, red line blister packs like these. I will be listing these on my website today. But right now I'm going to show you a video preview of all these red line blister packs. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 blister packs. Going to be listed at ToyCarCollector.com today, July 11th. 2017. Thanks a lot. Here it comes. All right, everybody, we're in the studio and ready to take a look at the blister packs coming up today on toycarcollector.com. Check it out. Number one, 1970. Classic Nomad Magenta. This one is phenomenal. It is gorgeous. It is beautiful. And it is... Uh oh, sorry about that. I got my finger stuck in the, uh, in, the, uh, in the hedge trimmer yesterday. Fortunately, I was wearing a leather glove. Could have cut the end of my finger off. Anyway, back to uh, Redline Hot Wheels. Magenta. It's gorgeous. It's going to be on the side today. Go over and check it out if you're interested. All right. Here is a red Fire Chief Cruiser. This one is nice. Got a little blackening on the card there. Some of these cards do because they were stored not the best, but the cars turned out perfect. Look at this one. Satin red Fire Chief Cruiser. That one is a beauty. Mm, mm, mm. Haven't decided on the prices of all these yet. Sometimes I change my mind before I list it up, so I can't really tell you what they are right now. Here's one that will be a bargain for you, though, compared to other purple heavy Chevys because this one has corrosion. There is corrosion here on the motor, corrosion on the base, and some corrosion on the back fender there. But it will be cheaper than a normal heavy Chevy purple in the blister pack, which normally is about six or seven hundred dollars. That one will be coming up on the website today. And here, whoa, earthquake. All right, Jack Rabbit Special, one of the commons, and a good value on the website coming up today, July 11, 2017. All right. Blue King Cuda. This is a nice blue King Cuda. Really, really nice car. The package is kind of rough, but still all there. And it is a beautiful King Cuda with a nice finish and no serious issues. Now, of course, you can always come to my website, toycarcollector.com, because I have blister packs for sale every day, and I have for 26 years. Here's a red light, my Firebird, and this one is gorgeous. I really, really would like to open this one out of the blister. But it is just too nice, and the blister is decent. Going to sell it. If it doesn't sell, I'm going to rip it. That's right. And next up, oh, Purple Light by Firebird. Oh, my gosh. This one is on the cusp of me wanting to cusp on the edge. I would like to rip this one. I don't know. It's pretty close. If I don't sell it, I'm going to rip it because it is gorgeous. That thing would look so fantastic if you had this purple... Light my fire to in your collection. You would be one proud papa. That one is good. How about a mantis? It's a common one, but cheap at 99 bucks usually on a mantis in a nice blister. Nice blister right there. Another mantis in magenta. Magenta, of course, U.S. and a little more expensive than a Hong Kong blue, but it's very nice. Oh, check this out. Now, these are popular right here. Mighty Mavericks. Mighty Mavericks is one of the most popular cars of all times. This one is blue. It's Hong Kong, but it has a beautiful paint job for a Hong Kong car. You know how terrible those Hong Kong paint jobs are, but this one is extra nice. Let's move the light up here. Look at that. That is a beauty. And even better than that, but quite expensive, light green. When do you see a light green with a hood that matches like this? Usually the hood's all darkened. And the car is bright, but this one is bright all over. It's a beauty, and it'll cost you a pretty penny. So check it out. And here's another expensive one. Nitty Gritty Kitty in red. And this is a gorgeous red. It is a beautiful red. And it's got the number 7 on there, but it's the kind of number that I really like, which is the real skinny little number. I don't know what the deal is on that, but I like the little skinny numbers. As opposed to some of the other cars that have fat numbers... Check it out. Number seven, red nitty gritty kitty. Now, what about a Porsche? Grand Prix Series, gorgeous lime U.S. Porsche. Not the most exciting color, but if you don't have it, you need it. It's not quite yellow. It almost looks yellow, but I do believe it is lime. It's got that limey look more than it does the yellow look. So I'm going to call it lime. 
And hey, how about this? Sit down. Don't freak out. Here it is. Pink Porsche. This one will set you back quite a few dollars. But this one is a beauty. It is a beauty. I'd probably keep that one if I could afford it myself. But I got to sell them. Sell them down at Dave. Toycarcollector.com. I was going to say Dave's car lot. But, uh, you know. Here's a pink sand crab. Nice. Got a little crack on there. Not too bad. I usually try to list any cracks that are in the bubbles. And uh, so my new method of listing is to say what the car condition is, what the package condition, and what the bubble condition is. This bubble, this pink, it looks nice and bright in the light, but it does have toning uh, all over it. So it's a little dark, but that's okay because it's still beautiful pink and they're hard to get. Here's a light green a sea cider, a light green. This puppy right here, it's got a few spots on the top, but if it didn't, I would be ripping this baby out because I would love to have a perfect condition light green, but I'm not sure that even exists. So this one will be for sale coming up today and next in the list, see, uh, <laughs> swing and wing. This one is rose. But it's quite dark because it's overall got an even tone to it, so it makes it look like it's a dark rose color. It's quite attractive if you want to, if you're looking to make a rainbow of sea ciders, it would be perfect to go with that. Here's a magenta Harry Holler, and the other cars were all from 1970. This one is from 1971. Harry Holler in magenta. That's a gorgeous one. And the last but not least is a. Sugar Caddy. Now look at this thing. Sugar Caddy. At first glance, I would definitely want to pop this baby. Put it in the old collection. It's not white interior, which would be super rare, but it is a dark interior. It is beautiful. The, unfortunately, the card has got the, the uh, worst um, bit of water damage. And that back fender, fender edge has got some corrosion on it. So if you took it out of the package, you could display it this way, but probably wouldn't want to display it the other way. Still, it's orange, and it's in the package, and it is a sugar caddy, so it's quite popular. And that is 20 blister packs. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. That was my favorite one, the Nomad. Seven, eight, nine... 10, got to reach farther and farther away to get these, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, wait a minute, I thought there was 20, where is the other one, isn't there another one, oh, Oh, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 16, 17, 18, 19. There is only 19. Why? Because I kept a couple back to rip. Purple peeping bomb. Purple peeping bomb. I sold my last one loose. I shouldn't have. So I'm going to rip this puppy on another video and uh, add that to the old collectione, which is shrinking every day as we speak. Uh, here is the TNT bird in a pretty crummy pack. It's all dark over here. It's wrinkly. Look at that. It's kind of wrinkly. Look at that. See? See? Wrinkly. But that car is beautiful in there. Really beautiful for a green. I'm going to probably, I'm going to rip that one out. Rip that one out. And then there is this pink whip creamer. But the card is ripped, so that's no good. Beautiful on top. Absolutely mint on top. Does have corrosion on the base. So I'm going to rip that out. Uh, that'll be a nice loose car. And that is all, my friends. Thanks for stopping to watch the preview of 19 blister packs for sale at thetoycarcollector.com. Thank you. Bye now.